Thursday Night Fights Classic here up in the Massachusetts area. This is a very common thing. We got Laid versus Mars. Yeah, this is usually your top two, but now they're fighting for when it gets top eight. Yeah, this is just to get into top eight. That's how many good players we've had here today. And uh, right now we're seeing Laid starting off with a very good lead, but this is something that happens often. If Laid can control this lead, he's going to be in good shape. And that's how you do it. Almost getting the kill there with the forest smash. And said he's going to close it out. 0% unanswered on Mars. Yeah, that, he's going off. And the parry. But Laid ain't trying to get hit. Yeah, now here's the thing. Mars doesn't usually let these situations stay this way for too long. Uh, but talk about explosive players. Mars is one that if you just let him get in once, maybe two interactions, you might die to flip kick or you might die early to one of the boost kicks off the side. So oh, you see Kool-Aid God. playing really patient. Yeah, Laid does not want to interact. He hit Mars and said, yo, I'm on the other side of the stage. You come to me, boy. That frame one jab so good. Every time you get somebody trying to like land on your shield, especially if you miss the parry, it's like, okay, I'm still getting a punish. And this flip it? kick is oh going to close it out. Oh, my gosh. That was ugly. Tell you, man, we've been going into time capsule lately. We saw uh, Nairo pulling off those up airs to up ease. Can he get something big off this? At least a good amount of damage off that shield breaker. Yeah, it stopped being stronger. So there's a timer yep. on that where it just stops increasing strength and you just hold it for a while. Yeah, I think once Blade realized that he couldn't get up there because of how far to the side of the platform was, like, okay, I just got to get my damage because yeah. I can't go for an S smash or shield breaker to try and get him off stage to go for ledge trap. Look at that. Like, every time you're boxing with him, you always have to respect that frame one jab. Yeah, it, it's something that you always need to keep in mind. And CSS also having great other tools to end that jab. It just makes it even scarier. And that was beautiful. Also reading a little bit hard on there. But then again, when you, you play against somebody this long, yeah, he ripped his jump there. Even with yeah. flip kick, he might have still just died to late going off stage to a fair. I think that he just got to commit to it. Okay, parry into boost kick. Just that silly just talk out right there. And getting the grab, down throw combo as a grab. Nice little 20%. Oh, but he can't finish off the stock right here. Yeah, boost kick so close to taking the stock out, but late getting to live past another one. Not anymore, though. And this is the thing we were talking about before. That very first stock, 0% unanswered. Last stock, pretty even game. It, it, yeah. it's, you can never fall asleep on, like, even if you have a lead against Mars. Oh, trying to call him out with theirs. And, yeah, this game is just even. Yeah. yeah. Excellently well played between these two. Like, but unfortunately for Laid, getting get caught by one falling up air and also by the reverse taser. If that stunned any bit longer, that could have been really bad for Kool-Aid. Yeah. Here we go, getting the landing, trying to retreat with a fair, and Laid respecting him to just enough. Okay, getting caught by those jabs. Crazy part about the jabs too is like if you go for the jab and they roll in and you have it, it, they, they try to react with something too slow, you can get the parry and the boost kick. So there's so many safe options for Mars in that situation. Yeah, a nice call out with the side beat on his landing. Okay, just avoiding Mars. Laid so lucky he avoided that. Trying to go for the tech chase. This could be a decent punish. He said he's going to go for a throw. Yeah, just trying to get the quick reaction. Didn't want to be late on anything. A nice patient staying in shield. Yeah, not overcommitting there. That Nair might close it out, and Laid is going to take game number one. Yeah, good job to Kool-Aid. Taking game number one. All right, bro. All right, hold up. I was saying Kool-Aid the entire first set. I realized I keep calling him Kool-Aid, and then as soon as I start saying Laid, you switch to Kool-Aid. Hey, Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Laid. Um. All right, Laid is uh, definitely got to be feeling good after that yeah. one because that was really close match, especially after the lead that he had. And... Closing out a game in j just period against Mars is such yeah. a difficult task. Uh, so, you know, Mars definitely thinking about what went wrong in that match and, uh, yeah. you know, what went right with a lot of those, uh, like, just get off me options between the jab and the retreating F tilts. Yeah. I think we're going to be seeing a little bit more aggro play coming out of Mars in this game, too, here, though. Yeah, definitely. And Mars will definitely shouldn't be feeling too bad because he got shield broke and zero to death that game. Mm. And that was last hit. So, if I was Mars, I would be like, yo, I don't care. You know what? This has been a good read on Lades, uh, like going into this next game too. We've said that Mars is probably going to try and play a little bit more up close. Lade has just been jumping in place and throwing out shield breakers because he knows that Mars wants to shield yeah. his aggressive approaches. He's done about four now, and now that now you have to think about it as Mars. Like, is he going to do it again? Like, is he really going to do it again? And see, that can lead to Tomahawks. Okay. Oh my 
Gosh. He tried all he could to DI in, but eventually you just got to hold one of those. That's going to close out the first stock. Yeah, it, it, it seems like Mars gets that once per set, man. Once? Maybe twice. This man has made actual, like, house money off of <laughs> the amount of times he gets those in sets. But, it, you know, latest seen that happen so many times. He's kind of used to it. Uh, still hurt, though. Ah, oh, just going with the double zeros, realizing that he, like every time he tries to approach, good hard punish, recognizing that he was gonna go for that grab in this situation, late gonna close it out. Yeah, spot dodge being a really good tool in Smash Bros. in general, and just late taking using that to his advantage. Oh, tried to get catch the dashes away, and late just now getting caught, laser paralyzer into boost kick, and that's his second stock. That true. Crisp, clean, keep it simple, keep it easy. Every time you can get that uh, close out, the tech chase with the jabs, like even though it's not a lot of damage, he brought Laid from center stage all the way over to the corner. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's not always about the damage, it's about positioning. Yeah, and it's, Are you dead? it's about the mind game. Okay. <laughs> Mars, Mars looking through that, like, again, we were talking about the capsule, but that, that was looking like some Smash 4 Shades of old. Yeah, yeah Mars is definitely playing a different game than us. We booted up Ultimate, he booted up Smash 4. Okay, another one. Yeah, just not, that's not it just yet. But catching him with the up air, knowing that the back air won't hit at that angle, so up air being the tool to use. Yeah, and laid, he was looking for the early flip kick, but Mars delaying, doesn't matter though, he's able to get the punish. However, sitting at 130%, yep, if you make a mistake on landing or you jump too early, you're pretty much just asking for trouble. He had to play perfectly, doesn't matter though. Mars gonna put himself on the board, get game number two, going into game number three. Uh, what do you think? What do you think Laid did good in that matchup by comparison? Like game one was so close, but going into game two, he had his fault, but he still kept it kind of even, even though he was looking at the deficits. What do you think he needs to do to replicate that success? I think he needs to like play a bit more campy, but he needs to find a way to punish Mars a bit harder than how he was doing. He did a great stock one, but he needs to find a way to recreate that because even game one, Mars brought it all the way back yeah. with such a big deficit. So he needs to find a way to keep put him in that deficit and just keep him there. Yeah, I agree on the camping part, especially like even though it doesn't seem like camping, he was just empty hopping in front of him and throwing out those shield breakers just to throw out the t throw off the timing and get like just quick little damage. So he wasn't over committing where Mars would look for something. Mars also, uh, you know, it may not seem like it, but he's also a very talented defensive player as well, putting a lot of hitboxes on retreat. So if you can throw off his timing of when he thinks you're gonna approach, you'll be in a good spot. I mean, not now though, that's his jump and he is gonna get closed out. Mars, beautiful edge guard, gonna lead to his first stock. Mars, gonna have to hold that one right there. Laid answering right back, back to even. Yeah, these players love going back and forth. And I'd rather Laid do this and then instead of just like lose straight up. Yeah, Late has to actually be careful now too because that's the second stock in a row where Mars has sniped that uh, that jump. And luckily for him, he was able to make it back just barely missing the boost kick. That is, that, that that's an old taboo. You never neutral get up against Mars. Yeah, it doesn't but, happen as much in this game, but flip kick will punish you every time. And just calling out the low. Yeah, great tech, but now he's at one. 20%, 135, and counting, still in disadvantage. Yeah, and you see just like, Mars has just been controlling the pace of where Lade has been going. Like, pretty much every single route Lade has gone has been at the control of Mars. And, and like, Mars is really cruising right now. You gotta, you just gotta slow down the game, try and play camp here because he, but Mars is looking so good right now. Yeah, and great job for Lade just to catch that roll. Just know Mars is gonna roll away because he saw him dash in. They got a good, like, few strings there. There we go. Gets a good defensive play, and he's going to answer, answer right back. So this defense, the camping play was not it. Just get that, uh, get the anti-air, rack up that quick damage, and answer right back. Yeah, Lane was only at 25%, and now it's his turn. Oh, but he missed the that up tilt right there. Great um, air dodge from Mars. Yeah, it could have led to a little bit more, but instead. Yeah, and uh, this is the situation I don't like, because... Lane could definitely have reacted and done like almost any option that he wanted, but instead he just second guessed himself. 
Yeah, it's rough too because you know the defensive capabilities of Mars, so you, you know that he's gonna be ready for it. And Mars has been ready for it. And let's see if he's ready for the answer here. See, even right there on that down smash, Mars put out that jab just to make sure that Laid respected him at the ledge. Is that it? He's gotta go deep. He still has his jump. He's gonna make it back. Yeah. Okay, fair out show, no down tilt. And great of slide off from Mars to just not die from that situation. Up B, no. Down smash. And that's that's going to end up chase. taking it. And, you know, if Mars had the right idea off ledge a second ago where he put the zero out because he knew that Lade was either looking for that short hop fair and there. But Lade's still able to close it out even after what was almost his ledge trap into a stock and get that tech chase. This is looking... This is actually looking kind of similar to the light versus Mr. E set. Yeah, but the games are kind of reversed because Mr. E lost game one. Yeah, but it still ended up 2-1 in the situation where Mr. E had the favor over oh, yeah, Light. True. And these games have been extremely close, but the fact that Late was able to close that out yet again, like Mars now looking at a deficit. However, it is still these these two play each other so much. Yeah. Uh, so like Mars, it's like, okay, he got me on the tech chases. He's got me a couple times on left traps. Let's get a change of scenery. Yeah, we're running right back to PS2. And Mars just going off, giving seventy percent onto Lay, but Lay said, "Nah, I'm gonna answer right back." I, I like, li I like the F tilt, just catching this jump. Exactly. I actually, uh, as the match has progressed, Lade has been getting a lot of mileage off of just putting them out in the right spots where he knows he's probably gonna jump. And even if he doesn't jump, he's been keeping him in a point where he has to respect his approach. I really like the approaches. That time deciding to go for an air dodge away because he's missed the tech chases. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's missed the tech in places with the down smash. Yeah, he just doesn't want to be in that situation anymore. Oh, nice roll, roll behind. And Mars just heavily committing, but catching Wade's dash and Wade committing it just a tad bit early. I like, that punish. I like the fact that he put out the side B there too because he just flick kipped over him where he saw Wade was trying to play passive and wait for an option to get a punish. It's like, okay. I bet you're going to approach me right now. I end up sealing out the stock. Such a good retreating tool. Meanwhile, Mars playing, uh, like going aggressive on his recovery, but the fair is not going to do anything about a dolphin slash out of shield and laid once again, putting it back to even. All right, Nair, Nair's on the shield. And I love those safe Nairs. Just put fine pressure. Just miss it, barely missing the timing there too. Laid going to get himself a down throw to up air, put on a little bit of damage. And Mars looking much better in terms of just like the way he's feeling about these tech chases, particularly that right there. He's reading a lot more defensive options out of late. Yeah, oh, I thought he was going to roll behind, but that hitbox is I did so not think big. that was still going to kill. Like, like the fact that it, it went behind him, and he was still able to get that. Yeah, ZSS couldn't do it all, baby. Except for give us Metroid Prime 4. What? Oh, uh, what? Huh? That, that's not a game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Meanwhile, speaking of game number fours, we're currently still sitting here in game number four. Mars trying to make sure that this doesn't close out right here. He's trying to bring this to game five. That's a good yeah. way to do it. Get the yeah, jump. No jump. And yeah, that's just the game. So game five. Metroid Prime 5 confirmed. Mars bringing this to game number five here. Very good answer on a lot of defensive options that Laid was going for. And let's see if Laid, like, I don't think we're going to see the run back to PS2. Yeah, I definitely don't see this stage being, like, the last crucial stage. I'm probably going to see, like, stage like FD, Battlefield. Okay, Battlefield it is. Yeah, I definitely... I didn't expect Battlefield. That I definitely did not expect because... Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a little troll. <laughs> like, th this is definitely a good stage in terms of, like, for Kool-Aid. But another thing that is also a very frightening thing to do is let Mars go to triplats. Yeah. Mars it's is just so good at extending advantage while he has you on a platform. So while Kool-Aid gets a few more ways to go, like to trap him and some more survivability, he's got to play super careful against what could be some very big damage combos. Yeah, he did kill Laid off the top in like game one or two. And, and in that last game too on the reverse off beast. So. Yeah, so he ain't no stranger to just playing Smash 4 in ultimate. Anyway, he's getting a good amount of mileage on his stage, too. He has been playing oh. safe. However, double Nair into back air. Where's he going to go? Just opts to do the ledge trap. 
Yeah, double chat. Uh, like even after the fact that he was able to double jump and get back, uh, get by, that frame trap's just so rough. But Lane's gonna reverse the situation and get the first stop. Yeah, catching the air dodge right there is knowing that Mars does have a habit to do to air dodge in the fastball and the air right there, and even even it out from Mars. And what it just like that's gotta be one of those frustrating moments because. Cool. Lane hasn't really gone for get-up attack, like, yeah. the whole set. And then Mars was already prepared for the get-up attack. He knew. That just, like, that's that thing that you see out of people who just have been playing each other so yeah. much. Already prepared. Yeah, they play each other every week. Oh, up beyond shield. I, the Mystery Classic. Yeah, that, it's, it's a risky situation, but if you hold on to it in the right spots, it can save you a lot. Oh. Almost hitting with the F-Smash. That would have destroyed that stock. Yeah, I thought he caught her feet right there. F-Tilt. Laid very lucky that he got the trade right there because that F-Tilt and uh, the Nair is about to push him back off. Looking for a roll read, but instead, not going to get anything. Yeah. Nice bear right there from Laid. Or from Mars, my bad. Yeah, if he connected with that Zero 2, that would have been a really bad spot for Laid. I don't even know if he would have been able to make it back, but... For the patience. And just waited for the roll. The stutter step at it, too. He he walked over to him to maybe bait like he would go for a run-up up B or run-up grab, but instead ran back. And Laid also waiting for the flip kick off stage. He knew at some point he was going to approach. Last stock, uh, game number five here, looking to get into top eight. Could, could this be it for Laid? Or will Mars be the one to take advantage? And it seems like Mars is trying to run w away with it. Oh, Laid was so lucky he avoided that grab. He would have forward thrown him, and he would have been stuck in a bad spot. Meanwhile, he's getting hit back off stage. That's the ledge trap option. Get to get through. You have to be careful here. Much like we talked about with Roy before, you do have to always worry about the fact that that forward smash can kill you really early, even on Battlefield. Yeah. Oh, catch him with the platform tech chase. We just start swinging at each other now. Such good evasiveness, but he's going to finally get hit by the down beat and Laid not feeling good about that one. That was so close. He tried yeah. to read the jump. He knew the flip kick was coming. He had the back air already ready, but he ended up getting grounded instead. Got to be, that, that one's got to hurt, yeah. but Mars got to be feeling good about that one because that was as close as one of their sets have been in recent history. Uh, and uh, that was excellently played. Mars is going to move on, though in top eight on winner's side. Yeah, he he definitely robbed him, man. Yeah. R we did always witness a robbery. He, like that. He but, just mugged him. But you know what? At the end of the day, we got the W.